This is my man Colton right here with FedEx. Hey, oh, yeah. for the past couple of days, he's been bringing me parts and everything, so I appreciate it. He, cool. he asked me this morning how the subs go. I'm working on them right now, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, Colton. Hey, All man, right. subscribe to the page, brother. Of course. Yeah. All right, my yeah. man, you too, brother. Thank All right. You. Today's mods will be these two 8 inch 400 watt underseat speakers for my JK. I've heard a lot of reviews on these, so. I'm a, people say these things hit. They say they hit, man, and you save a ton of space still in the back of your Jeep. But I got this four channel so I can hook my battery lead to it right here, then run dual amps into it. And I still got two patches over here for LEDs or whatever else I want to run from the battery. You call it a block fuse. Got my left right splitter because I'm running dual amps, so you're going to need a splitter. Left right, this is only like three, four dollars. Get you some cable. Well, these are RCA cables. These are RCA cables I had in the garage, so I'm going to use these for the second amp. These for the first, like I said, that's my uh, antenna wire that's going to charge these up as soon as I turn uh, the radio on. And like I said, I got power wire out in the garage, so this is it. Rockville, 8-inch subs up under the front seats. Let's see how this thing works out. You're going to get a sub-level controller. You get all the wiring for it, and that's your harness there. All I'm going to really use is the remote wire, the power in the ground, the actual speaker wires itself. They use those. If you don't have like RCA jacks in the back of your receiver, then you're going to need to use these. I got RCA jacks, so all I need is these three wires there. Let's first get started on your supply list, tools. You're going to need a drill, drill bit. Make sure this drill bit is not too big because I got some self-tapping screws, but I want to at least start a little pilot hole, make it a little easier. I'm going through the frame to get these um, amps mounted. Black tape, get your little shorty ratchet. These, this right here is an 8 millimeter for my self-tapping screws. You know, I got my box here. That's my little power supply box. You've got the two connectors that are going to connect your power wire. These are for your ground wire that's going to go to the chassis of your car. Get you some shears. These just kind of take the sheath off of these wires. Get you some wire snips, a couple of lock washers. I think you're ready to go. One of the first things I did while I'm selling the house, I got a Phillips screwdriver. You attach the feet to your amp. This is going to mount to the floor of your Jeep up under the seat. You're going to be doing some off-roading, so you don't want this amp just jumping around up under there. You can short this thing out. I've got the feet mounted on both speakers. I mean, there's an onboard amplifier and everything on these, so these little things are supposed to kick. Let's find out. Okay, I'm finally outside with the Jeep. I just placed my fuse panel right here next to my battery or whatever. So I got one and two for amp one and two. I'm going to have my leads come off. I'm going to drill a hole right here in the firewall. It should drop out right about there. Okay, so I just finished drilling and I left the drill in there so you can see. That drill, that's where my power wire now is going to come from. Straight through the firewall behind the glove box. And... Like I said, there's my battery right there, and that's where I drilled, right there. There's a bolt right here on the firewall. I just went right below that bolt because that was a good placement. I knew exactly where it would come out. So that's basically where I drilled. My power wire or anything I want to run can now go through the firewall right there. Nothing through the door panels and all that crazy crap. So what I did is I had this huge spool of wire. It's way thicker than any power wire I could find. So I'm running that through the firewall. Because it's going to attach to my little, you know, power supply box right there. All the way through the firewall. And I ran it right behind the blower motor. And on the inside of my carpet, there's wire running all the way out. And it's popping out right about here. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop it down up under this seat. Power up this amplifier. Then run it right over to that one to power up that amplifier that's going to be up under that seat over there. I'm getting it together. Okay, so I put my adapters on the end of my wires. I got the one with the white line is going to be for my driver's seat. That's number one. Number two, no white line. Now I got my power wire installed, but remember, don't hook it to the battery until the very end. That's the last thing you're going to hook up. Okay, I got the one mounted under the passenger seat. Here's my screws that go down into the frame. There's my ground, ground wire right inside of here. Kind of chunk that up some. I can paint that. I'm not worried about that. Here's my remote wire. I got the wire coming from the front connecting the two wires. This is one amp, this is the other amp. So I got it going into this little harness. I just crimped this together. And there you go, that, those are my remotes. My power wire's back there. Here's my power wire, it's connected now from the wire from the front. And it's also going over to that other speaker over there. So I got a, like a Y wire right there. 
one piece of the power is going over there with that remote wire over there and here's the other remote wire to that amp and the power is going to the front so this is only under the passenger side I won't record the driver side because it's just like hooking up the passenger side okay to hook up your RCA's you need to go back here because I'm using double amps I'm using white for left and I'm gonna use black for rear this is gonna be my left amp up under my driver's seat I plug the RCA's in there this is a splitter and this is going to be for the ones up under my passenger seat, the black splitter. So there you go. Just buy a splitter, and that's what you do. Run left, right, and there's my RCA cords. This is my left. This is my right. I got them running through the back of the dash. They're going to come back up under where my power wires and everything went, and they're going to go to each amp, and then should be able to go. All right, that's it. I got passenger side mounted in there, and there's driver's side over there. I got the two Rockville 8s under seat speakers mounted. Let's attach the remote wire and then let's see what happens. It's all hooked up. Man, this thing is loud. Sitting inside, you can't even hear yourself think. Jeez, these little speakers kick.